Look who's here, our own cooking confidence coach, Nanny Bobby in studio. Thanks to Chapman Automotive, the sponsors of this segment, doing some wonton soup today. Oh, I'm so excited to share this with everybody and certainly with you. I picked this affirmation card, which okay. tells the story. It says, my mistakes are the most important part of my success in the kitchen. And I'm going to tell you, I've been making wontons since the Lunar New Year. I can't stop. I used them for Super Bowl. I fried them. They're so much fun. And so I want to show you how to make them and the soup. So let's start here. That would be a good Super Bowl. A fried there, wontons? Right? Yeah, yeah they absolutely. were great. So first we're starting with six cups of chicken stock. We're going to add the bok choy. Let that cook for two minutes. Also, Nanny Bubby tidbit is the, uh, re the dried shiitake mushrooms, which you reconstitute. And I thought those were weird, dried mushrooms, what right? What do you need to reconstitute them? You, you uh, put water and moisture in them, so oh, okay. they sit in water for about an hour, and then they're regular uh, mushrooms, okay. which is great. So that's what we're going to do with that. So that's going to cook now for two minutes while we make the wontons, okay? So we start at the end, mm -hmm. now we're going to the beginning. Okay. So we're gonna take uh, these little wonton sheets. And where do you buy those? Uh, Asian stores. Okay. Um, Whole Grocery Foods stores, does not, of... well, you know, Whole Foods did not have them. Okay. I was shocked, but I think Albertsons probably does. Okay. So we're gonna take uh, egg wash, and you make egg wash how? An egg and a tablespoon of water. I, I just thought maybe you would know no, that. No, I did not. Okay, I had okay. no idea. And we're going to start with our meat here. We've got uh, recipe calls for pork, but this is beef because I don't do pork. And this is the uh, cornstarch, mm -hmm. a little bit of shrimp, okay? Mm, yeah. Um, salt and pepper, just put it right in. Ginger, okay? Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you kind of mix it up. You got it. And then we're going to put the sherry in there, which is just amazing. Gives it a nice little kick. Okay. okay. Just go ahead really fast, 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 fast. I'm going to reach in. Yeah. Now, yeah. why the cornstarch? I don't know. All meats that the um, Asians use, for some reason, they, they wipe in cornstarch because they feel like it makes it more tender. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Do you feel so that they, way, too? Um, yeah. I mean, I just like doing it their way, whatever that sure. is, right? When in Rome, do what the Romans do. So, okay. same thing. Okay. So, this egg wash on the end, we're going to take this, fold it over, right? Pretty cool. Yeah. There we go. Fold it again. Put a little egg wash on the edge, on the ends, like that and just fold it over. And that's it. It makes just this really cute little yeah. flower bud. Do you see that? And that's so cute. So we're going to make another one, and you can start making one, too. Okay. So awesome. I'll egg wash it, the okay. edges, for you. Okay. We want to get three in the bowl. And literally, we're making an entire bowl of soup here. You can put a little bit on mine, too, okay. so I don't have to come across you. Here we go. Okay, enough? just enough, yeah. Okay. And fold it over. Mm-hmm. Get all the air over it. So put a triangle with your fingers over and get all the air. Oh, you're doing so good. Fold it again. Okay. Just dip in a little bit of egg wash with your finger. Just and right there. there you go. Wait, how did you do that last fold? Okay, so just uh, fold. There we go. All right. And just pinch Very all nice. together. There you go. We've got three of these. We're going to take them. We're going to dump them in the soup. And they're going to cook for three minutes while we make a couple more. Okay. And then we're ready to go. How much so time do we have left? Uh, we have less than a minute. Yeah. But that was in two minutes, the soup cooked. Totally. Now three minutes additional, the yes. wontons cooked. Yes. Yes. And then we're going to take it out. Well, they're in there cooking. Okay. So let's pretend like they sure. cook for the three minutes. Mm -hmm. We're going to throw in the pea pods. We're going to um, put in a dash of the sesame oil. There we go. I Ooh. like how quick this one comes together. I mean, it does, and I, it's non-complicated, and it's so fun. I'm addicted to making wontons, addicted to it. I love them. I fried them for Super Bowl. I just I can't stop making them. <laughs> and believe me, when I first started, they did not look like this. They were a mess. So, now, can okay. you make wontons outside of putting them in soup? Can well, you? yeah, I fried them. For, I did oh, you just fry them for okay. Super Bowl. Yeah, um, and you could. I made a crab ragoon in one of them, so not with the meat. Mm -hmm. Um, and here we go, a little bit of, um, Delish. scallions, and it where, really let me too. see where the wontons are. Here's one. Put it in. Anyway, and there we go. Very nice. We'll I give love it a this try. one. Yes, this I one, know. This one looks I know. great. And of course, you know, we're going to all together spread love like butter. Absolutely. You can find the aprons that say spread love like butter, the spatulas, and the affirmation cards at nannybubby.com slash shop. I love it that I we have all the merch here. Yeah, now. I know, all the shopping. Okay, you there you go. You can check all of that out by going to Nanny Bubby's Kitchen and Garden on social media and online at nannybubby.com. I also want to thank Chapman Automotive for sponsoring this segment.
always good to see you. We will be right back.